Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alberto. Thank you very much, Ralf. Thank you very much, Charles. Indeed, it was an excellent summit, and it really felt like a new beginning for old friends. We need each other. These are times of great geopolitical change, and like-minded friends like us need to stand together. We had good deliverers, and I want to focus on uh, the part of uh, deliverers for our people and for our businesses. On the first day, we launched the Global Gateway Investment Agenda for Latin America and the Caribbean. We will bring over 45 billion euro of high-quality European investment to Latin America and the Caribbean. More than 135 projects are already in the pipeline, so it's a very good start. Now, of course, together we have to shape the investment agenda, and we have to decide which sectors, which value chains to prioritize, and then we have to implement and deliver. The range of projects is very wide. It goes from clean hydrogen to critical raw materials, from data cable networks to mRNA vaccines. Important is that, and we discussed that a lot, Global Gateway is not just about how much we are investing, but also about how we are investing. We want that our investment comes with the highest environmental and social standards with transparency about what is happening. We want to share technology and knowledge and the training of local workforce for the jobs of the future is one of the core elements. For us it's important in this investment and that makes it different that the local communities benefit from the value chain, the added value produced there. This is also in our interest because we want reliable and trustworthy suppliers. This is also the spirit of the bilateral agreements that we concluded at this summit. First, we signed a critical raw materials agreement with Chile, and we also signed two MOUs on energy with Argentina and one with Uruguay. They are both on green energy, in particular on green hydrogen, so truly a win-win situation for both regions and both continents. My second point is on the trade agreements. I am very confident, in, especially after these two days, that in the coming months we will be able to wrap up the negotiations with Mercosur. Our ambition is to settle any remaining differences as soon as possible and to conclude by the latest by the end of this year. And I am also confident that we will conclude the negotiations on the modernized EU-Mexico agreement in the following months. I also welcome strongly the good news on the post cotonou agreement. We finally made it. It was a lot of negotiations, but now we found an agreement among the member states and we will manage to sign it soon. My final point is on the global impact of Russia's war against Ukraine. I am deeply concerned about Russia's move to terminate the Black Sea Grain Initiative, despite the efforts of the United Nations and Turkey. The risk is that it brings food insecurity to so many vulnerable countries across the globe. The European Union will, with all means continue to work to ensure that food security for vulnerable people is given. As you know, we have complementary the solidarity lanes. More than 45 million tons of grain, oilseed and other products have been exported via the solidarity lanes. The Black Sea Grain Initiative added another 35 million tons. So we will for sure continue bringing agri-food products out of Ukraine to the global markets via the solidarity lane, but uh, it is important that the blocking of the Black Sea is stopped and that the export via the Black Sea can um, keep on going. We discussed a lot, of course, the fact that everybody wants this war to end and peace needs to be just and enduring and it needs to be centered 
and the core has to be the UN Charter. We discussed the importance of the UN Charter explicitly. It is the common ground for us. It is there for every single country with the international law, and it is in all our interest to be very strong on protecting the international law and protecting the UN Charter. In this spirit, we have discussed, and it was, as I said, an excellent beginning for new friends to have a new tradition every two years to meet with CELAC. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam President.